Hello and what is up guys, right here and welcome back to some more automation and BeamNG Drive. Today we are creating our very own muscle car. Not just any muscle car, we're creating an extra special muscle car. Today is going to be a three cylinder muscle car like no other muscle car before. Um, this is going to be uh, pretty much sacrilege to muscle cars in history because this is going to be a three cylinder engine. It's not going to be a small engine though, it's going to be a massive three cylinder. So let's get started. It's going to be a, for now I think partial aluminum monocoque and for what i was actually looking at um light hs steel but i might go glued aluminum because it gives you such high bonuses in the muscle car category like way higher than glued than the light hs steel so i might go glued aluminum i might not uh front mounted longitudinal double wishbone front and multi-link in the rear so a pretty good suspension system pretty new pretty modern pretty beefy uh new engine right here so the inline at three all aluminum because we got to save that weight dual reverted cam four valves because this thing already doesn't want to rev uh, let's not help that by having a push run engine too. So we're going to do a max stroke just for, um, you know, it doesn't really affect our revs. Uh, and then a max bore for now. So right now it's a 4.1 liter. I might change it down just a bit though. Uh, of course, full forged. And we're going to do right now plus 10 slider. I might change it even higher. I might not. Um, this is the most expensive beat part on the whole car and is the uh, increased uh, bottom end because it's going to allow us to rev more. Which of course with a massive inline and three, we're not going to be able to rev at all. So, uh... EVT all cams. We're going to do a turbocharged all bearing. Start off with a fuel economy increase the intercooler uh, boost to 20 for now. Direct injection, performance, premium fuel. And then we're going to go for a pretty, pretty sporty ish exhaust. Right now, look, you see right now, if we have um, nothing, if we, don't, if we only have plus 10 on the bottom end, it does not want to rev at all. Literally, it doesn't run at all. Never. Uh, we can go plus 13, plus 14, plus 15. And then it starts to rev. So you see, we can actually, we cannot actually make the largest engine with this. We have to go down just a bit of a few inches here. Uh, so what I've been looking at is around a 3.2 or so liter size. We can actually make it just a bit bigger. A little bit of engine stress is okay. This is an American car. It doesn't have these super reliable 3.3 inches. So 1.1 liters per cylinder. This is basically a Dodge Viper. This is more liters per cylinder than a Dodge Viper, I guess. Pretty crazy. We do not need VVL. We don't need that. Um, so right now it's looking pretty okay. We're going to go 6,000 hour payment. We're going to rev to there. Uh, plus 15. Isn't that crazy? Plus 15. If you go anything else, you can't do anything lower than plus 15, which is absolutely astonishing, uh, to me at least. Uh, we're going to start off with a pretty high fuel mixture. I think like 12 to 1, or just the 12 air fuel mixture. Yeah, profile is pretty fine where it is. We're increasing just a bit to 55, and expression to 10 to 1. A nice even 10 to 1. So right now, 310 horse and 444 torque. Not terrible. Uh, makes about the same work as a Mustang GT and, you know, less horse, obviously. This is a three-cylinder after all. Uh, we can play with the exhaust diameter, make that just a bit bigger, get a bit more power to that. A massive three-inch exhaust all the way through, nice and easy there. I increase the fuel mixture just a bit as well. We're using only 91 out of our 95 octane, so we can increase the boost pressure if we can take any more power. Oh, there we go. We can actually bring it full here, and we're actually going to lower the ignition timing just a bit. The 345 horsepower and 533 torque isn't terrible numbers. Only 14.3% efficiency. This thing's not gonna have realistic fuel economy. I mean, it's gonna be realistic for the engine, but not a realistic car. This is a concept car, probably. That sounds that sounds reasonable, right? Concept car, probably. Uh, we're gonna lower. And it makes very, a very, 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 very flat horsepower curve. I mean, it's, you know, only reps to 6,000, so it's not hard to get pretty flat. We can probably increase the cam profile just a bit too, and we can increase the AR ratio to get more power. Pistons are starting to get a little stressed there. I wouldn't doubt it if I were them. It's definitely a stressful job. A three cylinder running 545 pound meter torque, and it's the 6,000. So 385 horse, 545 torque. Sounds like a pretty fair round number. We actually are not using all of our octane though. Uh, it's not, it's close enough. So it's even numbers. I'm not gonna budge, I'm not gonna fudge with it too much. Again, I don't make perfect engines. I make really good engines though. So 545 feet of torque available at a low 3300 rpm which is probably lower than a competitor a mustang gt5 liter v8 or a challenger rt scatback etc um this is the body we've chosen so a massive massive of a reroll drive proportioned um this is an american style coupe i'm not really too sure what the body this is designed after it's sort of almost like a mustang ish from the side um but not it might, might be a concept car maybe like a Chrysler Chrysler crosshair concept car. i'm not sure uh so this is the body we're using here we'll get to that of course later a reroll drive dual clutch Seven speed, a uh, viscous limited slip diff because that gives us the best rating for a muscle car. Radial sports, and we're gonna have massive tires in this case. Yeah, maybe not that massive, but uh, you, you know what I mean. The front can actually be pretty small. 
285s in the, in the front and 345s in the rear, so still a very, very, very uh, aggressive set of tires. 20 inch wheels, and we're gonna go a little bit, bit thicker on the rubber there, and the alloy sounds fine. Brakes vented, four piston. You don't wanna go six piston, actually. It does lower the muscle core category for me when I checked as well. So 12 inch is probably fine to start, maybe a bit bigger in the front. Fully clad cooling flaps. We do need that improved fuel economy somehow, and hopefully that'll give us just a bit. A two seater sport premium infotainment because this will give us uh, higher in the muscle core category. Uh, I think hydraulic was the best for variable hydraulic. I'm not too sure. Then advanced 20s, and then we're going to go for active sport and sport two. And so right now, if we actually go to the markets, we are doing okay in muscle. So we are doing uh, 57 and 54 for muscle and muscle premium, which is still pretty good. I want to get uh, into the green, though. Green is ideal. Anything over 60 would be great. Now, what's the budget right now? We're at 110,000, 20,000. I said 150 is pretty much the budget. Uh, the reason why the budget is so high is because, you know, A, it's a concept car, and B, you can't get it down that low with having an inline three rev, you know, the amount it does, which is pretty crazy. Uh, increasing things to plus five, which will help us up just a bit. We're going to go with the interior plus, I think it was it. Oh, no, it was premium HUD. Well, I guess luxury HUD. No, premium HUD actually helped. Best bang for your buck without adding too much weight. 3800, 3750 is not awful for weight actually right now. Uh, we can go, does this help us out? Okay, it does actually. Yeah, maybe maybe it was missing that before. So we're gonna have variable electric power steering. 60, so we are in the green for muscle. This is a muscle car, just barely, but it, it's it's a muscle car nonetheless. We can tune this again for sport. Uh, little changes there, 135, right? We're getting closer and closer. Under 3700 pounds, which is I think lighter than any of the muscle cars. Uh, in its class, really. Uh, I mean, it, it, if you're comparing V8 rear engine muscle cars to uh, whatever the heck this is. The 3,600 pounds, it's actually 50 into muscle car. Actually, actually went down because that way. What, what did we increase just now? We could just increase the brakes. Okay, it doesn't like brakes apparently. Smaller brakes it is. Oh gosh. We, we can go pretty big brakes. Less pistons. A two piston front rear. Oh, that's a disgusting setup. But I'll take it anyways, just for the sake. Uh, if we go to four piston fronts, it's fine still. Yeah, it, it likes small rear brakes. It likes medium sized rear brakes. Okay, so we're gonna go 14 inch, one piston vented. Oh, yeah. 14 inch, one piston vented brakes. Ugh, this is gonna be disgustingly awful to drive. It's gonna be just sad. That's okay. That's fine. And increase the arrow just for a bit better feel. What, what, what are we getting? Eight, nine miles per gallon. Not terrible for a V8 if you're just flooring it all the time, but in this case, for a six cylinder average miles per gallon, it is actually pretty true. Plus five on that, too. What about this? No, we're gonna lose that down. We can go less safety. Not helping our case. That's okay. That's okay. We can't really get too much higher. I think, honestly, I was just shooting for 60. Um, that seems fine to me. So 150,000, pretty much on budget. Um, a front engine, rear wheel drive, three cylinder turbocharged oop, muscle car. Uh, even though its primary category would be a light sport premium somehow. I don't know. A premium small light agile sports car with excellent cornering. Hey, apparently I have excellent cornering. Good job for me. Um, definitely a pretty bad vehicle, which is the fun of it. You know, that's the fun of it. Um, so I think the car is basically done. There is some fine tuning to be had though. So what I'm going to do, of course, is design the car in a time lapse, talk about that, and then I will also fine tune the car. Uh, and then I will talk about it for a minute and we'll jump into BMG Drive and see if this thing is as good as it gets basically so uh sit back relax guys and i hope you enjoy all right guys so we're starting the build for our a modern muscle car uh this thing is gonna have an inline three cylinder so that's gonna be very fun to do this build took me quite a few uh quite a few minutes about an hour and a half to actually do for me i was toying around with a uh plum crazy purple kind of dodge purple kind of thing and some circular headlights for a while i really 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 like having this uh square shaped grill uh i pulled up with this um maven uh, by maven is my other kind of brand this is one of the grills i use for them i really love how that design looks i do end up changing away from it shortly after because i just can't seem to get any headlights to look not crazy wild um but then again at the end of the day this is a concept car it's supposed to be crazy and wild but i do want to ground it and have some similarities to other maven products so i do end up taking a lot of design cues from my previous muscle car which was done i think a few weeks ago of my maven rmx muscle car uh, so this is basically a pre-production RMX concept car. Uh, how I finished it off, so it is a muscle car, except this is a 4 point whatever liters inline 3. For whatever reason, this is just a weird concept car. I finished on this grill, 
uh, and then making my own headlights up here basically as I go along. I definitely like this grill for the headlights a lot better, or this vent I guess is what it is, not really a grill. Um, the whole front end, it took me most of the time doing the front end, the back is a little, a little more sloppy, but that's okay. Um, so basically it has a Maven S grill with sort of another smaller grill on the side, and then the headlights with the vents behind them. On the bottom we have basically a big open grill uh, with sort of bars that I made and then another grill on the edge and adding some, trying to add some uh, texture I guess on the top of the hood I end up just putting a Maven RMX style front hood scoop that I have on the Maven RMX and then adding headlights and a turn signal at the bottom there as well. Finally naming the vehicle in game adding a side skirt, a Maven RMX Type C or Type Concept. This is a pre-production Maven RMX. Uh, a different body too for whatever reason, why not? Uh, maybe they thought of this and they changed their mind because no one liked this, who knows. Anyway, so the back is getting completed as we speak. I had a black grill there with a uh, spoiler working on it, and then I'm working on the side just a bit more. I think a bit more detail, some angry eyebrows to the front. I might keep it. I don't know if I like this 100% though. They could be better if they're yellow. They might be better if they're black. Who knows? I kept them black just to stand up just a bit more. Uh, I added some sort of texture on the side while playing around with a bunch of other stuff as too. I just tightened the suspension up a ton, uh, trying to make this thing fairly decent for a drag race, even though it has under 400 horsepower. That's probably the biggest biggest you know area it's going to succeed in. Um, taking another look at the back and adding some texture and stuff there and then keeping the suspension very 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 stiff after doing uh, some quick google searches and stuff. Uh, adding a bunch more aero making the aero a lot more of the engine as well. Uh, and then we finally have it in front of us the Maven RMX pre-production concept type C. And finally complete in front of us is the 2020 Maven RMX concept car, of course. Doesn't really look like the, anything like the real Maven car besides the uh, grill. The bottom face is kind of similar, the hood bolt or the hood scoop, uh, and then the back end is kind of similar. But the side profile is of course a different body, so the side profile is different than the regular Maven RMX. This is just a pre-production, completely pre-production, very, very pre-production concept car, i.e. the 3.3 liter straight 3 turbocharged engine with 385 horsepower. Uh, and it definitely costed a bit more than the actual Maven RMX, so this thing is 160000 I think the Maven RMX was in the, was under 100000 which is still quite expensive. 12.5 miles per gallon, not terrible. Uh, it did finish off with a muscle car score of 55, muscle premium of 82. So I, I marked down muscle, oh, I muscle and muscle premium marked down for a bit. Um, so 55 is okay for muscle, muscle premium 82, which is a pretty good score, because I mean the price makes it premium, I guess, technically. Um, overall, a almost a 50-50 weight distribution, a 52-48 weight distribution. Uh, the thing has 4.3 degrees of roll angle, 1.3 Gs nearly of cornering, 4.1 seconds 0 to 60. This is slower, 0 to 60 apparently than the Maven RMX, uh, but we're actually going to test that in the upcoming uh, BMG portion of the video. Overall, the car design, I like it quite a bit. I think the front end's nice. I don't know if it's going to be the con a concept car kind of, I don't think it's crazy enough to be a concept car. It is pretty wild. It's definitely a wild front end design. Headlights are definitely, I uh, did not make production. Definitely weird. Like this. I'm not sure if I'm feeling these eyebrows. You know, if we sort of delete these for a second, I'm not sure if I feel them. You know, but it definitely does really. Def it really defines the front end if you have them there. I, you know, I kind of like it. It's not bad. I like this sort of plastic. I guess tr the trim piece, a design element. I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, it's not, meant to, it's not meant to be a grill. It's not meant to get air out. Maybe there could be a grill there, but there's no good grills really for the sides that really go flush with the body. Uh, the side exhaust pipes, of course, are not making production. It's only a three-cylinder. It's got dual exhaust with a three-cylinder. And the exhaust goes so low because the car is just so low. Um, anyways, I think we're done talking about the car. So what we're going to do now, I did tune the car. I did a bunch of stuff in the course of time lapse. We are going to jump into Beam and G Drive, see how this thing just drives on the road, then take it to a drag strip and see if it can compete against the Maven RMX. Finally guys, we're in Beam and G Drive with the Maven RMX concept car. The back end has loaded in, the front end's loaded in, everything's loaded in. I actually kind of like how the side looks. It looks very good. It looks pretty attractive on the side. Um, a little bit blander over here, but this is the concept car. There's not supposed to be tons of detail into it. Uh, the front is very over style, of course. Um, you know, you walk up to it, it's, it's going to pop out at you, you know? Um, so we are in, I think, the East Coast. 
I need this. This is um. I don't like this as much as I thought, but that's okay. Uh, so we're the East Coast map. One thing I want to do before we actually start jumping around is we're gonna do a drag race after. But right now we just want to hear the car draw the car around. Yeah, it does that. That's crazy. <laughs> but if we just if we just hold it at red line, it just keeps popping and crackling. You know, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like that. It sound it, it, it's a sound. I don't know if I like it or not, but it, it's there. We're gonna start driving anyways. Oh, we're on semi slick tires, so it's gonna be a little more grippy than uh, what it could what it could be. Let's look at this one straight on angle here. There we go. There she goes. Oh wow, she's definitely way more responsive than I thought. Very, very, very responsive. Uh, the, the suspension is not tuned at all for this route. It's tuned just really stiff for where I drag strip, even though it doesn't really have the power to put down, but that's okay. It's tuned for a drag strip. Uh, it's not tuned for being controllable. It still has some bad oversteer at lower speeds and then downforce kicks in at high speeds. It keeps the rear nice and glued down, but. Just cruising around here. Oh, she starts skating around though. It's kind of fun. Kind of scary as well, but kind of fun in a scary way. Down here. Been the other stern here. Boom bottle. There we go. Oh, we're getting some good speed now though. Top speed is definitely not this thing as uh, Forte, just because it's, it, it doesn't really rev that high, you know? Ooh. That was getting scary there. I think the back end looks actually pretty good. The top tail lights looks awesome. I like the design. It's almost like a, a hook shape. The middle's not touching enough, but nah. Nothing I could do there now. That's okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, that'll buff out. That'll buff right out. This car is more of um, a fun car than it is a serious car, so don't take the design too literally and stuff. It's not... It's not meant to be crazy. Crazy well designed. Crazy well engineered, at least. But it's just ridiculously engineered. Yeah. Not a great way? I don't know, in a funny way. That's okay. some air there, that was nice. More speed again. Before we restart there, we're getting some damage. We're gonna go back again. It's got torque, but it doesn't want to... It, it looks up the tires a bit, but it doesn't want to do really donuts, you know? It doesn't, like it doesn't, it doesn't want to... It's like sliding. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Perfect. Definitely extraordinarily stiff suspension. You can even hear it, which is very, very, very stiff. But that's in its nature. It's, it's not going to do anything besides drag race. I think uh, I don't have my keys assigned, but my uh, steering wheel buttons assigned that properly. I think it's just, I just think I just put a cruise control. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going here. Nice and gentle cruise, eh? Easy does it. Let's go to change the camera angle here. There we go. You know, it feels like there's a lot of thrust when this car sort of gets into its power band, but it doesn't want to spin. It's not enough thrust to spin. Even we got over 400, we got what, 500 pounds of torque or so? It's definitely glued to the ground quite well. Ooh, that was close. I kind of like those popping. Popping and crackling. I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. It doesn't sound awful, the engine. I mean, it sounds like a, a very grody three-cylinder, but uh, it's unique. It sounds almost like a four-cylinder, but worse. Oh, that's, that's got to be something good, right? 
Yeah, maybe worse than a four cylinder. No exhaust, but that's 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 what this is. There's enough floor now and see what happens. I think we're still fine. That's okay, that's okay. Just just a tree, just a tree, I'm not worried. No, no, I am worried we're stuck. Okay. Yeah, we're stuck. That's okay. Let's see if we can get out of here. My steering wheel did not like that at all, but that's, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. The handle's fine. Oh gosh, it's pulling the right so hard. The right tire is like so bent. This is good. Oh, we're taking this turn nice and easy. Full throttle again. Come on. The suspension's out of the hood. Oh boy. Oh boy. That wasn't my fault. Okay. Um, let's jump into the uh, drag race and see uh, what that's like now. Okay, so we're here at the drag strip. Uh, next to me is a production model Maven RMX, and right here we have the Maven RMX prototype, the concept car that was designed the same year. Sure, why not? Uh, you can tell they're both different bodies. Obviously, they're different bodies. Maybe Maven decided to go with something a little more normal after the concept. Sure, let's just say that's happened. So we are here. I think it's at about 100 horsepower on us, but definitely, uh, I think a little less torque. We're going to pull to the first line here. And we're just right. He's a 7-speed manual, and we are a 7-speed double clutch. We're going to start with... Oh, offline. We were revving it all, though. He's losing us. We're short-shifting that, too, but that's okay. What do we get? Uh, we got, got 12.4 we got 13.2. That was a bad one. A bad launch for us to be honest. I've done much better. Uh, we're going to do that one more time. I am pretty confident. Uh, of course the game sounds like it's dying. Pretty confident we can actually do it. So look, as the car's pulling up here. Is that, is that the, is that, is that my car? Is that that? that? Which car is that? Sounds fantastic. Oh no, my car is popping everything. In neutral for some reason. Okay. Okay. Oh, I need to restart. Gosh darn it. One more time. It's hard because this thing's a dual clutch. You can't just I can't push the clutch in on my on my my you know on my uh wheel and pedals. But uh, yeah, I, I think I can for sure. But I think I think I've gotten uh, low 11s when I tested my quarter mile times this car separately. So I, I think we should be able to beat it. Uh, it does have more horsepower. And I think more torque. I think it weighs a bit more too, though, if I'm not mistaken. It's close. It's close, anyways. Like this. Does not does not like the roll at all, though. It just sort of likes to stop. Pretty much impossible for me to get a good start here because I, I can't rev it. That was a that was a lot pop. Oh, I'm just wolf it anyways. Okay. Thirteen point two. We're gonna try that one more time. All right. Final race of the day. Let's pull to the starting line here. Nice and gently. There we go. Oh, let's be close. I can feel it already. He's catching me in every gear, though. There we go. 12.25 versus 12.35. Oh, actually, that was a little reverse trim. So, um... I'm just totally shocked, actually. This thing could actually win, to be honest. Totally shocked. Totally shocked. I mean, there's one thing we haven't tested out yet, obviously. That's if this thing can do a sick burnout. And I can. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. 
the challenge video uh, is going to be coming out in a few days so i'm going to design not design i'm going to judge all your guys' cars it's coming out on the uh probably the 12th or so of december right now today's seventh time recording so this is going to come out on the 8th um Probably the 12th of December, yeah, the 12th of December, 12th of January, sorry, 12th of January, I'll have the uh, judging video where I judge all the guys in your guys' cars, and the couple days after that, or a week after that, or whenever Canadian still can get to it, he's going to test the crap out of all your guys' cars that make it to the finals, basically. So the top 10 or so will probably go to the finals, I think we have 25 or 30 entries so far, so if you guys haven't checked it out, check out the video already, uh, it's on my channel, it's a couple days back, check it out. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.